Hey guys, I'm no master chef, but I'm in a rush in my daily life, so I need quick, healthy, easy meal options to make during the day. So let's get some ingredients. I got my new school shopping list right here, no more pen and paper. I'm no Gordon Ramsay when it comes to being in the kitchen, but I do know a thing or two about nutrition. These are five quick, easy, and nutritious meals that you can make at home when you're on the go. Enter Chef Dr. Mac. Let's start with my favorite dish. I like to call this bad boy the underdog because most people think sardines, ew, no. First of all, sardines are delicious. Second of all, they're an excellent source of omega-3 fatty acids. That's the stuff that you need to develop a healthy brain, healthy eyes. We've seen a lot of studies show that people who consume fish on a regular basis not only are smarter, but they also sleep better. Below that, you have guacamole that has Haas avocados in it. It has tomatoes, it has onions, rich in vegetables all on top of this crisp bread, which has sunflower seeds, flax seeds, sesame seeds. It's rich in whole grains, has three grams of fiber, three grams of protein. This is a killer nutritious snack that you can really eat on the go. Don't mind the sardine. Up next, we have something that I munched on all the time in college, the dorm room special. It's really simple, it's not elegant, but it really does the trick. Oven roasted turkey breast, followed by my favorite cheese, Munster cheese, and then you have two slices of cucumbers. A lot of nutrition packed into this little bad boy here. You have proteins from the cheese and the turkey, and then you have antioxidants and polyphenols from the cucumbers. Cucumbers contain lignans, and they have a strong history of research in connection with reduced risk of cardiovascular disease, as well as some cancers even. And who doesn't like themselves a little extra crunch? The antioxidant one-two punch. That's right. The reason why I call this antioxidant one-two punch is because green apples, my favorite kind of apples, yes, Granny Smith, have a ton of antioxidants as well as polyphenols. So the saying, an apple a day keeps your doctor away is partially true because they do have a host of health benefits. They also are rich in fiber, which keeps you fuller longer. It also helps with sugar management. Then you have on the side as a little dipping portion of cottage cheese, rich in protein, calcium, B12, all essential nutrients to keep your body going. Then you finally top it off with a little bit of extra flavor from cinnamon, which is zero calories. That's right, zero calories. And cinnamon also loaded in antioxidants. That's the two in the one-two punch. Cinnamon has shown promise in preventing issues with your heart. It's also shown to help better manage sugar within your body, whether you're diabetic or not diabetic. Antioxidant one-two punch tastes great and low calorie. The Bear Pleaser. Yep, I named this after my puppy bear. And what this is, is just basic Greek yogurt mixed with some multi-grain gluten-free granola. I added a couple of walnuts for myself because I love walnuts. And then finish off with a little drizzle of honey. Greek yogurt, rich in protein and a great source of probiotics. Yeah, probiotics is all that bacteria that lives with inside your gut that helps you to have healthy digestion, helps you to go to the bathroom more regularly, normal stools. We've seen a lot of benefits from people eating yogurt. The multi-grain granola is great because the one that I buy has actually nine different seeds and nuts in it. You're getting a lot of fiber, 
you're getting a lot of nutrients packed in and that crunch is unbelievable. I think that yogurt on its own, especially plain yogurt and granola, is kind of tasteless. So what I do is I take my favorite, I guess food topping if you call it, and I drizzle a little bit of honey on the top, give it a ton of flavor because honey is rich in sugar, but honey is also rich in polyphenols, antioxidants, and we've seen some promising studies talking about the favorable effect on cholesterol. So this is a meal that I love and Bear loves. Last and least, it may not be the most adult one of these five, but it's certainly a favorite of mine in childhood, peanut butter and jelly. Peanut butter really gets a bad rap because it's high in fat. Um, it has some saturated fats, and in small amounts, saturated fats are not bad for you. And it's rich in unsaturated fats, which are also good for you. Peanut butter is also uh, a great way for people who are vegetarian or vegan to get their protein up. When selecting the bread for your PB&J, make sure it's one that has whole grain and whole wheat in the first two ingredients to make sure it's the healthiest type of bread that you can get, rich in fiber. If you're gonna choose a jam, make sure it's a high quality jam, not just jam that's packed with a ton of sugar, make sure it's made with real fruit. Clearly you don't need to put in a lot of effort to make really quick and nutritious foods. I mean most of these here have three or four ingredients at most and maybe they took me five minutes to make. As always guys, stay happy and healthy. Look, I am no Bobby Flay. <laughs> Look, I am no Gordon Ramsay when it comes to cooking, but I do know a little thing about nutrition. A little thing about nutrition. Let's break down each one. How does, how does that become my thing? If you like this nutrition video, please give it a like and a share. If you wanna see what I eat in a day, click here.